Gibson's was a, a fine place to work. It was it was it was a good uh, good place. I worked 29 years for them. Then when they they moved south, me and two other guys, Jim Derlu, J.P. Moltz, and myself, we decided to just remain here. We we had opportunities to go south. I did, and Jim did, and I and I think Jay probably did, but um, we elected to stay here and to start building our own handcrafted guitars, a small amount, and, and do them the old-fashioned way, the way we'd done them, you know, back in the early days of Gibson. And, and, and that's what we done. We started out building, you know, we would take our woods, select our woods, take our curly maple tops, glue on them. Even one of my partners, Jim, Jim Durlew built a carver to carve the tops on them. Uh, we built cages. Uh, we called it the pit bull cage. <laughs> it's where we pressed the uh, laminated tops and backs together. And we done it with a car jack, you know, just pressed it, you know, up. Uh, and uh, like I said, we certainly weren't automated. See some of the equipment we have. It's the it's still the old-fashioned way. We still doing it the old-fashioned way, and we've been doing it now. This is our 30th year, and uh, you know who knows? Maybe if we all stay healthy and good, we can do it another 30. Like I've always said, where is there a better place in the world to build guitars than Kalamazoo, Michigan? You know, and, and I think that it's very important to Kalamazoo to continue, for that to continue here. You know, and, and I certainly hope that uh, it does. And I hope Heritage Guitar remains a part of that. Mm -hmm.